everyone, I'm Heather and welcome back to my channel. So we are here today with Idol Manager. I had seen something about this, um, I guess maybe back when it was in beta, somebody had played it and I was interested in it then. Well, it turns out that it came out like maybe in July or something and it showed up when I was looking through the sale stuff uh, for the holidays. So I decided to get it. Um, and I think I'm going to play story mode just because this is the kind of thing that a story mode is good for. So let's go ahead and get started. So I guess we can be male or female. I have to come up with the names. What would be a good like idol name? Okay, we're just going to do, I'm going to combine some cat names. So I think my last name is going to be Quinn. And then my first name is going to be Lucy. That's not my name, but I have a cat named Lucy and I have a cat named Quinn. So that is going to be our thing. And what should, oh, I know. Okay. I'm going to change the first name. My group name is going to be a cat name too. But so my first name is going to be Luna. I also have a cat named Luna. My group's name is going to be Lucy Fur. <laughs> That's what my cat's name, Lucy Fur. So cat names right here. Let's continue. Our rival can be female. Let's enable the tutorial. And we will... I wonder why relaxed is not recommended for first time players. But we'll, we'll do normal. Oh, are you here to meet Fujimoto? Sorry to break it to you, but he's not here right now. If you had an appointment scheduled for now, well, you might be waiting a while. Fujimoto has a habit of keeping people waiting. Um, I guess where is he? <laughs> Hey, do I look like I know? I don't even work here. I mean, it's not like anyone works here, right? Not at the moment, at least. If you wanted to meet anyone who works for Fujimoto, well, you showed up a week too late. What happened to the employees? Huh? Oh, you didn't know? Well, this building might look like a ghost town now, but it used to be home to some very lucrative businesses. They were the kind of businesses that turned a very large profit. But they did most of their business in cash, if you catch my drift. Fujimoto runs the kind of businesses that favor profits over morals. Kick in old school with the world's oldest profession. Of course, the local law enforcement were usually willing to turn a blind eye, as long as they got a cut of the action. But ever since our city was chosen to host the upcoming Summer Games, the higher-ups have started cracking down on that sort of thing. I guess Fujimoto decided to clean up his act before the police had to get involved, which would explain why this building is now empty, and some of the neighborhood's finest massage therapists are now finding themselves out of a job. But I guess their loss is your gain, right? That's what you're meeting Fujimoto about. <sighs> well, as best as I can gather, Fujimoto's goal is to clean up his act, but let me give you a piece of advice. People don't change their ways so easily. You dig? If you want to run things squeaky clean, you'll be running against the grain. Who are you? <laughs> Me? I'm just a concerned citizen giving out some free advice. Is that enough gossip? I'm just trying to impress upon you that Fujimoto is probably desperate to fill this space with some kind of business. Whoever fills it could probably get away with running it at a loss for the foreseeable future. One of the benefits of not caring where your money comes from means you can accumulate a lot of it, 
and Fujimoto spent a lot of time not caring where his money came from. Anyway, I've already said too much. Enjoy your meeting with Fujimoto, all right? Sayonara. Well, <laughs> I did not actually see a rating on this, so I'm not sure if it's a mature rated game or not. Chapter one. Ah, you're Quinn Luna, right? Sorry to have kept you waiting. Good to finally meet you in person. It's interesting, I thought I put the last name is Quinn, but for the English they didn't switch them. It's fine. <laughs> I must admit I'm a bit surprised to see you're so young, but entertainment does seem to be a young person's game, especially when it comes to managing talent. Anyway, your age is less important to me than your experience, which was enough to impress me. I'm glad you're impressed. The thing that caught my eye, however, wasn't your education or even your most recent work experience. I was most impressed by the fact that you worked at a convenience store in high school. <laughs> most people wouldn't brag about working at a convenience store, but to become a part-time manager at such a young age is certainly unusual especially given that I happen to know that convenience store. It's in a pretty rough and tumble part of town. You're someone who knows how to get things done, aren't you? Managing an idle agency isn't exactly the same thing as running a convenience store, but you have to deal with a lot of the same problems. Young employees who are trying to balance school and work, running on a tight budget, keeping customers happy. If you know the business fundamentals, I think you'll do well here. And if you don't yet know everything you need to, I hope you'll learn fast. Mm. So anyway, I have the paperwork here if you're ready to sign. Your terms are, well, let's just say that they're the best terms I was able to get on such short notice. Anyway, I don't want you to think of me as your boss. You're the boss. I'm just a sponsor, an investor, if you will. This is your enterprise, and I'm just buying myself a piece of the action. When it comes to starting capital, I'm afraid I can't offer much in the way of cash. My, investment, my investments haven't left me very liquid, and I'm taking a loss on a significant portion of my portfolio, you see. Part of the reason this building happens to be vacant. But I can offer you use of the bottom floor rent-free. Pretty lucky for my loss to turn into your gain, isn't it? Mm. This kind of generosity isn't typical for me, so don't get used to it. Why are you doing this? I already said it, didn't I? I just want a piece of the action. You do all the hard work, and if you turn out to be a success, I get some of the prestige by association. If it fails, well, it won't be the first business venture I've seen fail. Hmm. Plus, the truth is, I need someone to fill this property. If you let a space go unused for too long, it can start to look run down, and that can affect the value of the surrounding property. It's not good to have a building that never has anyone leaving or entering, but if you start expanding and taking up more space, you're going to have to pay rent for the space you move into. It's a bit early to worry about that though. For the time being, I assume you'll be focusing on getting some starting talent, training them up, doing basic promotion, and most importantly, getting yourself a fan base. I don't know everything about the entertainment industry, but the one thing I do know is that you're nothing without your fans. An idol group lives or dies based on the size of the following it gets. Of course, I'm not saying you shouldn't pay attention to your bank account. But if you're not increasing the size of your following, you're probably doing something wrong. <clears throat> Plus, there's me to think about. One of the reasons I wanted to sponsor an idol group is so that one day I can turn on a TV or pick up a newspaper and see people talking about something I helped create. So go out there and make me proud. Sate. So, are we ready to formalize the agreement? Or is there anything I forgot to cover? Um, should... I don't know that I should tell him about the person that was, like, um, talking about him. Because I imagine it's, like, some undercover cop or something like that. 
I look forward to working with you. Ha, likewise, but don't expect to see me too much of me. Don't get me wrong, I'll try to come out to big events, but I'm a busy man. You don't think you're the only investment I'm making, right? <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'm not sponsoring any other idol groups. It's against my interest to sponsor two different companies that might compete against each other. But I'm always trying to diver diversify my portfolio. So I might stop by the office every once in a while, but don't expect to see my face too much. Hey, running an idol group can be complicated. It's challenging, even for those who have experience. A comprehensive guide would be useful, yeah? Ah, uh, but what do you know? I have no idea what I'm doing. I wouldn't mind getting a few, few pointers, or I'd rather figure things out on my own. I'll take a few pointers. <laughs> Maybe I should say I have no idea what I'm doing. I wonder if this is like how much of a tutorial it'll give me. Oh, I have no idea what <laughs> I'm doing. Ah, I appreciate the honesty. That's why I'd like to give you this binder. It was put together by one of my former associates and it lays out SOP for a lot of things you'll need to do when running an idol group. SOP? I was wondering about that. Sumale. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't drop the jargon. Should I should drop the jargon, shouldn't I? SOP for s stands for Standard Operating Procedure. Maybe I could have figured that, that out if I thought <laughs> for a minute on it. It's basically a set of step-by-step -step, step instructions for helping you do all the things you need, you'll need to run as, I can't speak. It's basically a, st a set of step-by-step -step instructions for helping you do all the things you'll need to run an organization like Lucy Fur. <laughs> you know, I don't actually call my cat Lucy or Lucy Fur, I just call her Fur. Of course, it wasn't specifically written with Lucy Fur in mind, but you'll be surprised at how many universal lessons apply to running a business like this one. <laughs> Documents like these you'll find in this binder are the lifeblood of any organiz organization. They're a way to formalize the concept so that the organization is never reliant on a single person. Since all of their knowledge is stored in a form that allows anyone to pick up and take over their role. So I'm not the first person who had to do this? Does that mean I'm replaceable? Let's not talk about that. Mm. I've sponsored a lot of businesses before, Miss Quinn. I'll leave the binder in your capable hands. It consists of a series of lessons on various topics. Anyway, I think it's about time that I get out of your hair and let you actually start doing your job. Any questions before I turn you loose? Um, how about any last minute advice? Mm. I think the best lessons are the ones you'll learn by trying and failing. How's that for advice? Not very helpful, actually, thanks. Don't get discouraged if things don't work out. A lot of starting businesses fail. To be honest, for an inexperienced person like you running a business, it wouldn't be that surprising of an outcome. That might sound pessimistic, but hopefully it takes some of the pressure off. Every venture like this is ultimately a gamble. If you go bankrupt, I won't personally hold it against you. After all, money isn't everything, but it does ten tend to make life a lot easier. So try to make sure your spending is judicious. Okay. Click on an unused part of the building to build a room there. So I guess this. To start with, let's create your office. After all, you need a place to work. Okay. Open the staff tab. It's me. Each staffer is represented by a card on this menu. You're the first and so far only staffer at Lucy Fur. Okay. Hire me. I'm me. Okay. On this menu, you can click on a staffer to change their nickname or fire them. Of course, you can't fire yourself, but you can give yourself a nickname if you'd like. Um, it's fine. 
As the UI indicates, you are currently not assigned to any room. How about we move you over to that newly created office? Grab my card by clicking on the handle, this one, and drag yourself over to the office. Nice, look at you already hard at work. This is the start of your journey as an idle manager. Here you can see the current date. The green progress bar underneath the date indicates how close to tomorrow it is. The days go by so fast, don't they? Right here. If you need time to think or plan your next move, you can pause time by using this button. The play button will resume and the fast forward button will cause time to move at an accelerated pace. Time will only pass when you're on this screen. Anytime you're experiencing a story event, time will pause automatically. You can't have an idle group without idols. It's time to hold some auditions. You can choose to hold local, regional, or nationwide auditions. Making a wider talent search with a regional or nationwide audition will increase the chances of getting a highly talented idol, but it will, but it will also cost more. There's also a cooldown for holding higher tier auditions. Auditions are planned from your office. Click on your office and select the auditions option. Let's hold a local or regional audition now. Okay, audition. Oh, that's a lot. I can't see that though. Um, that's so expensive though. That's like a fifth of my money. I think let's do a local. The talent scout begins. It will take a few days for the audition to finish. It looks like the game is currently paused. Our talent scout won't progress if time isn't moving forward. Let's unpause it. As you can see, your portrait has a progress bar. Okay. That will fill up as the audition gets closer to finishing. Remember, if you want to time to progress faster, you can always press fast forward. So I guess that's what it wants me to do. Okay. And I guess I just need to wait for that audition to be finished before it lets me go. Okay. It's a brand new day and the talent scouting is finished. It's time to look at the audition candidates and decide to who to hire. Click the audition icon over your heads to see the candidates. Each audition finds five idols. Who they are is a mystery. Let's click on one of them to get started. Okay. Can I move this? Yeah, okay. Each idol has four stats that are based on their appearance and four stats that are based on their talent. Next. <laughs> to each next to each stat, you'll see two numbers. The first number is the current value, and the second is their potential. Okay. You can think of the potential as a soft camp cap. Once the idol reaches their potential in a certain stat, it will be much harder to raise that stat through training. Okay, so the thing is, I guess if I picked this girl, she's pretty, she's smart, she's funny, but she's not very good at these other things. She could be mediocre <laughs> in everything and just not sexy at all. Each idol has a unique trait. Some traits are beneficial while others can be more of a hindrance than a help. She is high maintenance. That is not a good trait. She... So the high maintenance trait drains stamina one and a half times faster than normal but spa treatment will resort, restore her four times more stamina. But that, I'm sure that costs us money. You can click here to hire the girl to be an idol of your group, but hold up. Before we hire, let's look at other candidates. Okay. Ooh, her vocal talent is terrible. She's never going to have this. She is paranoid. More likely to report real scandals to player, but will also sometimes falsely report scandal scandalous behavior to the player even when nothing is wrong. I wonder what this button here is. Is that like their overall 
thing. I mean, none of their dance is very good. She's not smart. Um, okay. I mean, she's average in being cute and pretty. But she's pretty good in all this stuff. She's a little bit below average in being cute, but who's that? What about this one? Steadfast. Penalties for low stamina are drastically reduced. Ooh, she's a good one. Can we not hire her? Because she's like... Hmm. Okay. Wow, it looks like you were lucky enough to find a rare idol. That means she has pretty high starting stats, which will probably give her a head start over the other idols. The number above each idol's portrait represents her overall rating. It is, it's essentially an average of all their stats, and it can help when comparing different idols. Now that we've had a chance to look at all these idols, let's decide who to hire. You can hire as, hire as many or as few as you'd like. Since you're just starting out and have no idols, let's hire at least three idols. Okay, can I not hire her? Because I want to. Um, it didn't let me hire that other girl. Oh, what happened to her? Okay, we'll hire her. Not hire her. It wouldn't let me hire that rare idol. Hire her. Okay. Oh, no, I guess I don't need to hire those two. Nice. You've hired three idols. It looks like there are two left in this batch. You can either hire them as well or send them packing. Uh, let's send them packing. Click finish. Okay. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Glad to be on board. I may not always be the first to the party, but there's a good chance I'll be the last one standing at the end of the night. Yes. Hey, I hear this industry can be pretty rough and tumble, but don't worry about me. I'm like rubber. Whenever people insult me, it bounces off and sticks to my shoe. Wait, is that the expression? <sighs> Why do you call me here? Or, oh... This is just an introduction? That's a relief. By the way, I heard some girls whispering in the hallway. I think they were talking about me. I picked her because she had better stats than a lot of them. Okay. But that paranoid thing is kind of annoying. Now that your idol now that your group has idols, it's time to give them something to do. Let's go over to the activities tab. Right here. Every day, your group can perform an activity. Performance will spend idle stamina. It will earn some money. Promotion will spend time, will spend stamina gaining some fans. Spa treatment will spend money to allow three idols to recover their physical stamina. Okay. At the bottom of the screen, you can see how many fans, money, and scandal points your group has. It looks like right now your group doesn't have much of a following. Let's fix that. What is that? Where do I see my fan? Oh, this right here. Okay. Let's do a promotion to gain new fans. Okay. All right. Didn't I do that? Okay. Success. You've got some fans. You can hover over your fans at the bottom of the screen at any time to see your current demographics. Okay. Teen, male, uh, casual, female, young adult, and hardcore males. Okay. Now it's a new day, so let's plan a different activity for your group. It's time for a performance. Okay. 
and we got some money. It looks like that brought in a bit of money. Remember, you can do one activity every day, so choose wisely. Since you're first starting out, it might be a good idea to do some more promotions to increase your fan following. By the way, the benefit you get from doing daily activities based on the level of that daily activity. Hover over each daily activity to see how you can unlock higher levels. Unlocking higher level daily activities is one of the best ways to make faster progress as an idle group. If you're ever stuck, consider checking your daily activities and see what the requirements are, are to level up. Whenever your idols work, they spend stamina. You can check their stamina in the idol menu. Okay. Here you can see your idols' physical and mental stamina. Ordinarily, idols spend physical stamina when working, but if you force them to work when they're completely exhausted, it will drain their mental stamina. Idols with low physical stamina are at greater risk to become injured, and idols with low mental stamina can become depressed. Be a good boss and try not to work your idols too hard. Both mental and physical stamina will recover over time, but mental stamina will, will recover much more slowly. Here you can view your idol stats. By default, it will display their looks and talent stats. Click on the arrow next to their stats to view their relationship stats. Okay. These stats indicate your relationship with each idol. They indicate your friendship, influence, and romance level. I didn't know we could romance our idols. Friendship is a measure of how much an idol likes you. Increasing, increase it by socializing with them and generally being pleasant whenever you interact with them. Influence is a measure of how indebted an idol feels to you. Increase it by doing favors for her. Romance is a measure of, well, you know. You might be able to increase it by flirting, but not everyone will respond well to these kind of advances. You can click on an idol to change her nickname or put her on hiatus. Later, when you create multiple idol groups, you can also click on them to assign them to different idol groups. Click the profile icon to bring up an idol's profile screen. Here you can view more detailed information about her stats. The fans tab will tell you about the demographic of her fan base. So teen, young adult, and adult. The jobs tab will display any contracts the idol gets. The Bonds tab will display an idol's relationship with the other idols in the group. You can click here to see who she's friends with and to see which group member she might not be getting along with. It looks like we don't know very much about her current relationships with the other members of the group. Let's socialize and get to know her better. From the idol menu, you can choose an idol and drag her card into your office. It takes some time to prepare a social event, so let's let Time progress. Remember, you can always fast forward if you want it to move faster. Okay. It looks like you're ready to socialize with an idol you've selected. Let's go get coffee. Casual conversation is a good way to get your, to know your idols and build friendship. Try flirting at your own risk. Not everyone is receptive to a romantic overture. You can ask Idol about her wishes to find out what her goals are. Helping her fulfill her goals will increase your influence with her. You can ask an Idol to share gossip about other group members or ask her to mentor a younger member of the group. Note that most group members won't share gossip if they're not friendly on friendly terms with you. If you have influence with an Idol, you can spend that influence to get her to do certain things. If your idol is bullying another group member, you might need to resort to this option to get her to stop. Every idol graduates and leaves the group eventually. You can ask her when she is planning to graduate or accelerate her graduation. It's best to begin working every working relationship by getting to know the other person. Let's engage in some casual conversation. Uh, what did you want to chat about? Otaki Mikoto talks about her favorite TV show and shares a bit about what she has been going on with her family. You also find out that Otake Mikoto 
can juggle up to eight objects at once. Ooh. You can't run everything yourself. Idols need to be coached and you need staffers to help with sales and production tasks. Let's go hire some. Well, I am actually going to go ahead and end this episode here. And when we come back, we will hire some managers. <laughs> Um, that is everything for this episode, and I think it was a good introduction to this game. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!